In my last video, I showed you how to create a portrait and set it to the correct file size and data type to be imported into the game. Now I'm going to show you the actual process of importing it. To do this, I'm going to use NZA's editor version 1.3, which I have open now, and Stingray's dat editor version 4. So, we're going to be using Tom Brady's portrait, the example that I used before. We already have the DDS file from the last video. Now I'm going to use the roster, which is Madden NFL 2008's default roster, and search for Tom Brady. So I'll go to the filter by team and choose the Patriots. Next I'll search for Tom Brady himself, although actually I can see him in the list now. So we have Tom Brady selected, and I have it set to the body tab of the editor. The important part is portrait ID. This shows the slot in the portrait pack that holds all the portraits. The roster and the portrait pack are separate. The roster has all the attributes and the numbers for the player, like uh, how fast he is, everything like that, and also the ID, which refers to the portrait pack. So now, using Stingray's editor, I'm going to load up the portrait pack. By default, it's stored in Madden. Madden NFL 2008's Documents folder. So I'm going to load up uislibplayerport.dat. Double click on it, and now it's loaded up. As you can see in the editor, Tom Brady's portrait is 881. So I'll go to Graphic ID and type in that portrait ID. I already edited this portrait pack before, so the portrait you see in there is from something that I did before but the example still stands. So, we have the portrait that he uses in game now, and we have the ID. Next, we're going to load up the portrait that we created ourselves. So to do that, I will go to Load Pick, and go to the desktop where I stored the image, and choose TomBrady.DDS. What you see on the left is the portrait that we made. On the right is the portrait that was already in the portrait pack. So, to use the portrait that we made, you'll click on Import, and it is now stored in the portrait pack. You are not finished yet, though. You have to click File, and then click Save Dat, and then go back to where you have your portrait pack stored. If you do not do this, and then close the editor, none of your changes will stick. For me, I've done that in the past, and it's very frustrating when you've changed a hundred player portraits and none of them stuck. So, we'll save it, double click on it, yes I want to replace it, and it is now saved. You can do this for any player. You can also take a portrait ID from a player that you created yourself. So for example, we'll use the Patriots again. Tom Brady has a portrait ID of 881. Let's say you want to use that portrait for a different player. We'll copy the portrait ID by pressing Ctrl C, then set the portrait ID to zero. Setting it to zero means that it will show up as a cartoon in game instead of the portrait that we have now. So I'll click Save Changes and wait for that to finish. Once that's done, we'll look for a player that doesn't have an ID and give him Tom Brady's ID instead. Now that it's finished, I'll go down to the bottom where I know there are a few that don't have portraits. And as you can see, one of them right now has a portrait ID of zero, so he's using a cartoon in-game. If I wanted to give him Tom Brady's portrait ID, I would then paste in the one that Tom Brady had, 881, and save changes. That player is now using Tom Brady's ID. So if I wanted to give that player a portrait instead of Tom Brady's, I would then create the portrait by downloading it from a website, editing it like I showed you in the last video, then import it now. So I would search for LeKevin Smith, get his portrait, make it like I did before, click load pick, and do as I did here. That would replace Tom Brady's image, and it would give you LeKevin Smith's image instead. That's all for this video. I hope this explained it well. If you have any questions, be sure to post it 